What is up everybody, this is always back with the next video of Java JDBC Central Training Series. So in the last few videos we created this code in which we created uh, a connection to our database and we retrieve a get row method and we got the get row from students table from our database. So if you are working on a big project, you might want to create a new class for just a connection. So you can use that class to get the connection anywhere from your application. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go and create a new class. And we can name it DB Connection. Click on finish to create a class. And now in this class we just want to get rid of these comments. Alright, so in the class the first thing we need, we need three uh, constant variables. What we're going to get from our main class this, these are the uh, three variables we need, so we're just going to cut it from here and I'm just going to paste them into our DB connection class now. So just make a little bit of space. And now we got three constant variable which has our username, password and connection link. Here we're going to create a new method where we can receive a connection. So type public static and the type is going to be connection interface and then get connection is going to be method name and now in the in this connection first let's import this uh, connection interface to our class and now here we just need to return the connection so type return and here i'm gonna go back to jdbc sample.java class and we need this driver manager dot get connection we need this code so cut that and let's go back to the JDBC connection class, paste it here, click OK, and now we need to cache the exception. So here, if you click on this bold, you will see add throw clause.java.sql exception. So just click on that, this will remove the error. Now, in our application, we can use this class to get the connection from database. So let's go back to JDBC sample.java. Now we need to use the instance of DB connection class. So type dbconnection dot get connection. All right. So now if I run the application, I should get the same result. I should get the four rows from the database table. All right. So we have connected. That's fine. And then four rows. So that's how you can create a new class where you can add the connection coordinate and then you can access the connection from anywhere in your application. That's the best practice. I have previously described in the video series JDBC resources need to be closed when you are done with them. The connection, the statement and the result set are the example of these resources. So you declare your resources first and initially set them to null, then you actually instantiate them within a try block as I've done here. And then you close them in finally block first and making sure that they're not null so you don't have to cause yet another error. Now all of this code can feel a little bit confusing. But in Java 6 and Perrier, it's simply required. But Java 7, however, it gives us a new syntax called try with resources. The try with resources syntax look like this. You add the code after the try keyword and before the code block, you create a set of parentheses and then you can instantiate your JDBC resources within those parentheses and they will be closed automatically for you when the try and catch block is executed. You will not need finally block at all. This works because the kinds of object you can place into the try with resources section including any object that implements interface called closable or auto closable. Let's take a look at a documentation for a connection interface as an example. The auto closable interface which has many sub interfaces and many implementing classes has just a single required method called close which return void so any object that implements this interface or implement closable which has the same requirement can be added to try with resources block and if you take a look at the java docs for the result set the statement and other similar jdbc classes and the interfaces you will find that they all have this close method and that's because they all implement the interface auto closable or closable. Let's go back to the code now. 
I'm gonna copy connection statement result set and I'm gonna paste that after the try keyword in the parentheses and we're just gonna fix up the tabulation here and then we're gonna copy the code in front of uh, con and then I'm gonna paste instead of null there and then same for SCMT object and then RS which is our result set. And now we don't need this con equal to stm t is equal to rs is equal to just just delete them now because of these objects have been placed within the try with the resource section when the application is finished executing the try catch block and their close matter will be called automatically and if they are null that is if they haven't been created for some reason they won't throw an error and that means that I don't need this finally block. I'll select the code and I will delete it. And now I will run the application and let's see if we get the same results or not. Now as you can see that we got connected to database and we got the result back four rows in a student table. The last thing we're going to talk about is if you're working with Java 7 you can significantly reduce the amount of code that's required to connect to database and execute SQL statement. And if you're working with Java 6 and previous versions, you will still need to use all the syntax, declaring the object first and setting them to null and then instantiating them in a try block and closing them in a final block. And if you're working in an Android as of that today of this recording, Android will follow the rules of Java 6, so you won't be able to use try with resources syntax there. So, but in Java 7, the things have been improved significantly. I encourage you to choose try with resources block. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.